Matter cannot be destroyed. When you destroy something, you merely break it down into smaller pieces. The smallest bit you can break something down to, without very expensive machinery, is an element. No, that's better. These elements don't stay in one place, but move through the world in different forms called reservoirs. The means by which the elements travel are called biogeochemical cycles, because they consist of biological processes, geological processes, and chemical processes. This series focuses on the cycles of four elements and one compound, or a combination of elements. Nitrogen is part of DNA, your genetic code. All living things need nitrogen to survive. Nitrogen gas makes up about 80% of the gases in our atmosphere. But to get our nitrogen, we can't absorb it through the skin or inhale it. Instead, we get nitrogen as a solid in the food we eat. So how does a gas become a solid? Lightning does some of the work, but most is done by bacteria. In nitrogen fixation, bacteria absorb nitrogen gas and combine it with hydrogen to make ammonia. Think of bacteria fixing the nitrogen to the ground. Some of the ammonia is converted into ammonium. Remember, ammonium has more letters and more hydrogen atoms than ammonia. Ammonium is a nutrient used by plants and is absorbed directly into plants. The rest of the ammonia undergoes a nitrification to make nitrate ions. Nitrification nitrifies ammonia to make nitrate. Nitrate is easily absorbed by plant roots to be used in proteins and nucleic acids. We now have nitrogen in the life cycle. Nitrogen is returned to the soil through our wastes and corpses. In ammoniification, the nitrogen in these wastes is converted into ammonia. This ammonia can re-enter the old cycle or go through denitrification, where it is returned to the atmosphere as nitrogen gas or nitrous oxide. And so the Earth revolves in a beautiful cycle of life. Not! We humans are disrupting the nitrogen cycle in five major ways. 1. We dump large amounts of nitrogen into the atmosphere when we burn fuel. 2. Our demand for good, cheap food adds an overabundance of nitrogen into the soil. As it decomposes, nitrous oxide, a potent greenhouse gas, is pumped into our atmosphere. 3. Destruction of natural reservoirs such as forests and wetlands creates more waste to be decomposed, adding even more nitrous oxide to the atmosphere, in addition to disrupting our planet's ability to store nitrogen. 4. Runoff from inorganic fertilizers and sewage can end up in waters hundreds of miles away, where dead zones appear. And five, we remove nitrate from the soil with our extreme farming methods. So what can you do? You can buy organically grown food. You can eat less meat. You can drive less. You can support or even join conservation groups. If we all do our part, maybe we can get the world spinning again.